Hello, lovely humans. It is Molly from Molly Reads and Writes. And do you, do you know what this is? Because I don't know what this is anymore. We're, uh, we're trying our hand at another writing vlog. It's been a very long while. Excuse me while I enjoy my pretty teacup. How do we write? Do we know the answer anymore? I don't know. I am sitting at my desk, enjoying the rain that is falling outside, wearing a toque because it is chilly and I am so happy for that. I guess. I need to write. I need to actually write things. So, I figured... What did I figure? I figured I would try to write some stuff, slash read through some of my planning that I've got going on for my science fiction, and I would talk about how things are going with my fantasy and the beta reading and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a chatty writing vlog, maybe, where you can enjoy my pretty books and my teacup and my green plants. Wait, this is my newest plant and her name is Shirley. She needs water soon. I'm gonna set up the camera, then we'll do some writing. How's that sound? Wait, did I, I didn't tell you the date. It is Friday, September 15th. Let's also talk about if I've read a book yet this month. Nope. Now I'm gonna set up. Okay, first, we need a music. What, what do we pick? We're gonna pick one of the pieces that I'm studying right now. This one. It's the Dvorak Czech Suite. All, all of it. You should listen to this because it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And it all gets stuck in my head very often. Very, very often. Particularly the finale. That's also the one I need to practice most right now, so let's not talk about that. But I wrote stuff. Kind of. I planned things. I made a list. Because I always make lists. And I thought I would share some of it with you because this is stuff I'm going to be working on in the next couple weeks. 
So the very first thing I figured out that I need to be working on is reading through the scenes that I've written down for the first third of my novel, um, or like part one, whatever you want to call it, that's what I was doing. There's a few things that I need to adjust and make more, make more sense of them, and then I have to finish the second part because that is like only half planned. So I need to finish that, and then I need to transfer all of my notes for part three into actual scenes and an outline. So yes, that's what uh, that's what this is. It's my the start of my outline. Then one of the very first things at the top of my uh, other random list is that uh, my characters need some names. Two of my characters have names right now, the main character and another one. I'm not going to mention the relation because I don't know yet. <laughs> no one else's names. Everyone else has weird nicknames of a sort, so I really I need to get down and actually do that <laughs> sometime soon. So that needs to happen. I have to do some character profiles so that I get to know a couple of my main characters a little better and understand more about them, so that is a big thing that needs to happen. And I need to do some maps. Finish some maps, because I kind of started them. I just need to actually finish them. And then I need to create a detailed timeline of events so that I know how it all flows. That is, that is my list, currently. This is what I did today. This is what you get in this vlog. I will do better. I'm actually going to get back into doing them weekly. But I also, I'm going to show you this gorgeous book that I got. Look at this, look at this. Under a Pole Star by Steph Penny, and just like, the entire thing is just, oh, it's so pretty. Also, it's really big, so like, silly me bought it and was like, you can read this soon. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. Oh, it's got a lot of Inuit words. 578 pages later. I got another book, but I will show you that another time. I guess I should also chat with you about how my uh, beta reading is going. I've gotten my manuscript back from one so far, and I skimmed through her comments, and they were actually all really helpful, so that was one thing I was worried about, is having comments that were just like, oh, this is good, this is good, this is not good. Like, I need more detail, and um, this beta reader actually gave me a lot of detail, so I am excited to get to use that, but I can't do anything with it until I get the rest, the rest of the comments back. There's six copies out right now, so I got one back. One of them got back to me and said that her computer is messed up right now, so as soon as she uh, gets her computer fixed, she will finish reading it, so that's fine. Another one got back to me and was like, I'm three quarters of the way through, I just keep stopping to make, she's making handwritten notes, and then she's going to message me all the pictures of those. So that's another one I've heard from. I know another one is at least halfway through, more than halfway through. So then there's two left that I haven't heard from, so I'll be contacting them probably tomorrow to say, Hey, give me a estimated when you go and give this back to me, so that I know when I can actually start working on it again. That would be nice to know. So, that is how my beta readers are doing on my fantasy novel. I am currently undecided as to what I'm actually going to work on for NaNo. I probably will need two projects to hit the amount of words I want to hit, most likely. So I'm thinking I should have my science fiction completely planned out and ready to crank that out for November. And then if I get all of my fantasy feedback in time, I might start drafting a super rough copy of book two and exploring what I want to do there because um, that would be really helpful. So yes, that is about everything that I have to say right now. We're going to keep this vlog shorter because yes, I've not done enough. My question to you is, yes, I am doing NaNoWriMo, so first of all, are you? Second of all, what are you interested in seeing from me in regards to this, like prep videos in October? What kind of prep videos? Do you want like more nano related writing vlogs in November? Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see and be interested in 
hearing from me about. That is everything. Thank you for being patient with me in my lack of writing and my lack of writing vlogs and for sticking around and watching this one. You are most excellent. If you enjoyed it, you should definitely like and subscribe to see more in the future. And I hope that you have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it is, wherever you are. See ya.